airy one. Purple and black, high speed filament. Let's crack this bad boy open and take a look at what we got here. I'm already seeing the purple and it looks very bright purple. And flip it over and you can see the black. So this is going to be a two-tone color shifting filament. And I absolutely love the way these turn out. This is my first time using the Airy One filament, so let's put it on the bamboo and see how it works. Got to do a system update. Eighty percent bumps. Well, all right, let's go to crap. Let's go to Maker World. And we're going to find a fun little project. There we go. Let's try out a flexi unicorn bracelet. How's that sound? There we go. A little purple and black unicorn. Why not? All right, let's slice this guy. 47 minutes. Cool. Let's hit it to it. Just running this on standard and send. Bing, bang, boom. We'll be back in about, well, let's just say we'll be back in about an hour. Okay, bye. First, everyone, dual color print is officially in the books. And I love the way that this turned out. You can see we've got an awesome color shift from purple to black. We had zero issues printing this. We had I had zero issues printing this. We had no stringing or anything like that. And uh, so this is an articulated print. And it is wearable. So just snaps right in place and perfectly comfortable. Moves right along with you. No issues at all. Looks great. I know I personally love these dual color filaments. You can do all kinds of cool prints with them. I usually end up doing a lot of articulating dragons or dragon models with them. Um, this feels like it's got just a great build quality to it. It's not snapping if I'm flipping it around or anything. And it is a high-speed filament, so um, I feel like issues that you're going to have with normal PLA, you're not going to have with this one. So I'm going to run another couple tests with it, and we'll see how they turn out. Stay tuned. My final test of the Airy One filament. No supports. Printed just like this. As you can see, we've got awesome detail here. A little bit of stringing, but I think that's mostly my printer. And I love the color shift on this. Solid black to a very much purple. And it's durable. So this right here, you can see the color change in it. Absolutely awesome. And 
for an octopus, color change is quite fitting. So, I like this. I, I like this a lot. I'm going to try to figure out what other fun prints that I can do with this. Um, I didn't do a whole lot of uh, infill on this, so it's very lightweight. But as you can see, I dropped it and uh, no issues with it. So I wouldn't use this for strength. Um, silk filament usually isn't the strongest material out there. So if you need it to be load bearing, I wouldn't necessarily depend on that. But it seems durable enough. There's no bend or give in it, really. So um, if you want to have a good multicolored print, looks like this is the way to go. And prints high speed. Bamboo didn't have a single problem with running this thing. <laughs>